Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Melanie Tries Recipes. Today we have a special guest cook, my mom. She is going to show us how she makes her classic uh, scalloped potatoes with ham. So we are going to start off with some sliced potatoes and then we are going to make a basic roux which um, is like one tablespoon of butter to one tablespoon of flour to one cup of milk and then you just adjust that ratio to how much sauce you are going to want. Um, we did five tablespoons of butter, five tablespoons of flour to five cups of milk. Um, plus we added in, or she added in some salt and pepper. Here she is, um, adding in the milk now and making sure that it, it gets all blended really well. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. She was being such a good sport about me taking pictures of her while she, while she cooked her dinner or our dinner. Anyways, so we incorporate that really well, bring it up to a boil and then um, lower the temperature a little bit after that so that it simmers and, and thickens and tasting it to make sure that uh, your ratio is right. And then in a, in a baking pan, we're going to layer, layer it like it's a, uh, like it's a lasagna. We're going to put some of the sauce on the bottom and then we're going to layer uh, some of the sliced potatoes in on that, making sure that you get it all, all in there nice and well. And then you're going to layer in some of your leftover Easter ham on top of it. And then, um, Add some more of the cream sauce on top of that ham. And then we're going to go ahead and make a, another layer of potatoes. And another layer of ham. Add some more sauce on top of that one last layer of potatoes you want to kind of get it all evenly spaced you don't want to have like a big hump in the middle or nothing because then it'll be it'll be harder to cook that center down the center potatoes and then you're just gonna pour the last of the cream sauce over top um, of that last layer of potatoes and this is pretty much how it should look and then we're going to go from here put the lid on it and walk it over and shove it into the oven there and then <laughs> you're going to make sure you want to take a picture of every step every touch you put it in the oven you got to take every picture <laughs> so anyways we are going to make sure that our oven temperature is at 350 degrees and we're going to bake that for um with the lid on for about an hour and then we're going to take the lid off of it and then cook it for about another 20 minutes to try to brown up that top this is the way it looks when it's all done and i tell you what that was the most delicious dinner i've had thanks everybody